that there was a machine gunner who had they, bearing in mind I arrived after the DLI had been in Korea for about uh, seven months uh, these, some of these soldiers had already been there and been fighting this war for seven months and there was one chap who was a machine gunner and he one day went down to uh, on a standing patrol which is uh, a patrol in front of our own lines designed to give uh, deny access through the minefield in the minefield gaps and he got jumpy and he opened fire and uh, killed somebody and when they came back what do I do with him? What do I do about this? And he had to, of course, be sent away, uh, back behind the lines, and the map, and, and, and given a rest. But I've always blamed myself because I should have seen that he was getting near the point of breakdown, and I should have sent him off for a rest before he broke down. Nowadays, this is well recognised, called, and uh, people get post-traumatic stress, and all these things are, are better understood. But in those days, they weren't. And I realised how important it was to know every single individual as much as I could.